another day working at the diner. I just hope my wife isn't too mad at me, especially, you know, I've been trying to give her everything in the world, but this trailer is just not enough to her, I guess. But let's just go back inside and talk to her. Chet Burp's baby. Oh my goodness. My kid. I'm just, I'm just so happy right now. I'm just going to say, hey, um, say hi, honey. Said, how was work? I'm just going to say, great. I brought in about $30 today. I didn't get too many tips from the diner, guys. So I hope she isn't too mad. I've been spending all this money on stuff around. She said, that's it? Well, yeah. It said, you need a new job. Well, I spend all of our money on these luxury items. I mean, guys, look at around. I mean, like, our bed is literally leveled up. We have a TV in here. We have a very state-of-the-art uh, fridge and all this stuff. How are you going to only support us if you only make $30? I... <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I get it, but I I like you, and I think this could work out. Guys, like, I don't, I think I make enough money around here. I mean, in the end, it's not, all, it's not about money. I mean, we have a place. This isn't enough for me. I need more. I want to leave you. Wait, what? Wait, what? No, 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 no. What, what? I was gonna say, I, I promise I, I can make more. I, I promise I can make more. And I'm taking our son? No, 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 guys, guys. No, 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 not my kid. This is so horrible, ladies and gentlemen. I, I really do try my best to make ends meet around here. Said you've had long enough, but please, I care for, I care for you so much. Said I've been talking to so Somebody else? Why? What? They are way richer. What? But, but not poor like you. Please don't go. No, guys, this is horrible. What is she? I'm leaving and giving our son a good life. Bye. What? No, guys. You know what? I am going to prove her wrong. I am going to become the richest player in Brookhaven. No, I'm not even going to become rich. I'm going to become the wealthiest player in Brookhaven. Let's change my life. <sighs> Another day working at the diner, guys. You know, maybe my wife was right. Maybe I shouldn't just be making $30 a day. I mean, like, this is just so pointless. And maybe money is the answer to everything. So I've been looking on my computer, trying to find some jobs. And, you know, let's just see what I could find today. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, what is... Wait, hold on. Let me click through some of these. Okay, friends, work, shopping. Oh, wait. Brookhaven Bank. Wait, hold on. Let me click this. What the heck is this? Here at the Brookhaven Bank, we are looking for brand new what customers the... to come spend your money. But also, we are actually looking for brand new people to work here. The starting pay the will be $25 an hour, and all you have to do is come $25 sit here for $10 an a day hour? and work your butt off. Can you do it? Come apply today at the Brookhaven Bank. No way. Bank. No, no way. Should I should go apply. Oh my goodness, guys. Okay. All right. I have to go apply. I mean, it's a little bit dark, but... Oh, man, this could be a huge opportunity for me, guys. Let's go. All right, I've made it to the Brookhaven Bank, and this is the guy from the commercial. Oh, my goodness. I'm just going to say, hello, I'm here to apply for the position. Oh, my goodness. I am so excited right now, everybody. Hopefully, it works out for me. You know, hopefully, we can just kind of maybe get this job immediately. Hopefully, I mean, actually, oh, I didn't even get to change in actual clothes. I'm still in my outfit, bro. Oh, you didn't have any nicer clothes? I going to say, sorry, I, I, I was working. Working at my old job all night. Oh my goodness, I'm such an I'm such an idiot, man. Where do you work? McDonald's? No, no, no I, I I work at the diner. What the heck is he talking about? Like, well, I mean, I can kind of understand, but he's being a little bit rude, guys. He's a lot nicer on TV. Where did you hear about the job? I heard about it on the ad. I saw it was $25 an hour? Hmm interesting seriously if i could work here that would be insane i mean my whole life would probably change forever there is a lot of hard work that goes into this job i mean i'll i'll, I'll do anything you sure you're up for it i mean anything guys like I, I don't know how much i'm gonna work but it doesn't look like it well please give me this job oh, he's typing oh my goodness please 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 what's going on you got the job no way Let's go. Okay, I'll start whenever. I'm just gonna say, how long do I need to work? Is it weekends off or like, you better be ready to work all day, every day? What? 
Whoa, I said click that. Wait, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes, guys, I work at the bank. He said, are you ready to be rich? I am. Let's do this. All right. I cannot wait to prove my wife wrong. It is going to be amazing. Or should I say ex-wife? Go get changed. All right, guys, I'm going to head into the back and let's do this. Oh, guys, it has been a long, long, long month of working at the bank. I've been working my butt off. I mean, constantly. And, oh, there's my boss. Oh, man. He said locks door. He's going to say, hey, boss, another great bank day. Poke, you slacking? What? No, no, no. What? What? No, 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 I'm not slacking, guys. I've been working my butt off every single day trying to, you know, prove to my ex-wife and to prove to the world that I could just become this money maker. So I didn't hire you to goof off. He's gonna say, I've been working great all month. I don't know what he's talking about. I mean, this is his personality. He's been telling me like this every single day. Pretty much, it keeps me on my feet. I know you've been working 80-hour weeks this month. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that is very true. I've been working 80-hour weeks this entire month. Every single day. I mean, I really don't have a break besides my sleep. He said, but you need to keep it up. He's going to say, I'll do everything anything to keep this up and to become more rich i mean guys i haven't even gotten paid yet i'm really waiting for this big first check you only get paid monthly here said actually though i think you deserve a break what wait what really i'm gonna get a break no way oh oh my goodness said head home early today <gasps> what is that my is that my first month's pay? And here is your first month's pay. <gasps> yes, guys, finally. I have not been paid yet, bro. All right, I've taken the money. I'm gonna deposit this right now. He said, welcome to the rich life. Wait, wait a minute. 80 hour work weeks, 80 hours times four weeks is over 300. And if I'm getting paid $25 an hour then, all right, let me just deposit this cash real quick. Boom, there we go. And oh wait, my screen's pulling up. Okay, let me click uh, deposit. Okay, and oh my goodness. I just deposited $8,000 in my bank. If I make $8,000 a month, I'm rich. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go home right now. So the enjoy the rest of your night, Poke. Woohoo! Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I have just bought a brand new home. I'm just gonna say thanks so much. Have a great day. All right, so this is the guy that sold me the home. Said enjoy, and he's off. Okay, guys, take a look. My brand new home. Oh, now that I, you know, don't have a wife that's just asking for just really random things to put in my trailer, and I work at the bank making $8,000 a month, I've put a down payment on a brand new home. I mean, my life is has taken such a big turn recently and it's only up from here guys i mean i'm rich right now but i think so many bigger things are coming i mean let's show you around i got oh i got this amazing fireplace tv i have room to walk around in my bed isn't on this weird leveler thing i have multiple rooms this is just literally amazing wait oh hold on wait hold on my phone is ringing right now um let me just answer this uh hold on give me a second hello hey Polk. hey it's your boss oh it's my yo what's up boss i think you need to come An opportunity? I know you like being rich, but I think this is gonna make you wealthy. Come in when you can. Thanks. Uh, okay, uh, I'll be in. I'll be in soon. I'll I'll let you know when I'm in. Okay. All right. Talk to you later. Bye bye, guys. What is? What am I about to get offered? Let's just you know chill in my house for a second, and then I'm gonna go meet with my boss. I need a rest. I've had a long, long, long two months. <laughs> All right, everybody, we've made it to the bank. You know, I decided, you know, wait till the next day. And there's my boss. I'm just going to say, yo, yo, what up, boss? Oh, uh, he said, well, 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 the man of the hour. Whoa, he was really excited on the phone. It's going to say, what's up, dude? What's the news today, boss, man? I mean, I could come in and work anytime. I've been putting in hours, literally so many hours a week at this place. He said, you have really impressed some people up top. Oh, he means like up in like the, the Brookhaven Bank business like thank you so much you wanted this job and you showed that uh yeah i mean i just want to be super super rich i mean in the end guys i just wanted to become rich just to prove to my ex-wife that you know that trailer was completely fine guess what uh what, what's going on here that dream is going to come true the owners of the bank have decided to make you the co-owner of the bank what 
The co-owner? Wait a minute. Are, are you are you kidding me? You won't just be rich anymore. You'll be wealthy. Yes! Oh my goodness. Like voted. I, I must ask, what is my hourly pay? I mean, guys, I'm getting paid $25 an hour right now, okay? It is so amazing. And especially with all the work that I put in here, I mean, I'm constantly working. Hourly? Uh, I'm scared. Should I have not asked that? It's $1,000 an hour. Hour. A thousand dollars an hour? I can't even talk. I'm freaking out. Thank you so much, boss. Roughly 300K a month. Ugh. I'm gonna get sick. That's like a Ferrari a month. We expect big things from you. I promise I won't stop working hard. Guys, I work 80 hours a week here. 80 hours a week times four, 320. 320 times a thousand three hundred and twenty thousand dollars a month <gasps> all right everybody coming back to my house with another month of pay and oh i hear the vacuum on actually i wonder what uh my wife's up to if you guys didn't know i have another wife ever since you know that that last ex was you know being very very weird and gold diggerish to me said hi zach oh i'm just gonna say hey i'm just gonna say got another month of pay for us oh guys take a look another month of pay another three hundred thousand dollars oh, i just i can't even believe when i say that word said oh wow that's great but you know that money isn't important oh guys this is why i married this girl said family is that's literally exactly why i married this girl because guys in the end she never cared about the money she just cares about me. She said, that's why I care so much about you. I'm just gonna say, you're the true definition of somebody to care about. Oh, she said, even if you were broke, I would still be with you. Oh, guys, it just makes me so happy. I'm gonna let her know the news, though. I'm just gonna say, well, I'm not at all. And also, we're moving! Woohoo! We're moving! Oh, I cannot wait to show her the house that I bought, guys. I mean, it is insane said wait what i'm just gonna say wait till you see this bad boy come on pack your bags and i'll come show you said when where omg i'm just gonna say moving is in one week all right guys well we're gonna start packing up the house and getting everything prepped for the brand new home it is gonna be unreal all right everybody we are pulling up to the brand new home that i have bought oh my goodness i'm just gonna say say hello to our new home oh goodness guys it is so 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 beautiful i mean take a look at this thing omg my wife is probably loving it let me give you guys a little tour we have a little courtyard grass area the kitchen's huge we have an amazing sofa with tv we have a bedroom and to make it even better she's literally saying this is ours she can't even grasp this guy she's so humble and that's the true definition of somebody that you need to like you know someone that doesn't want you for your money but someone that she's even said i love the view see doesn't even care about the house but more of just what's outside of it and you know guys the best part i got an elevator baby oh I am too excited showing off this bad boy. I mean, it is unreal. It, it really is. It's crazy. This place is beautiful, Zach. Wow. I'm just going to say glad you love it. I used to be so poor. Then I got rich. Now I'm wealthy. I mean, it is it is just insane, guys. I'm just going to say you should go check out upstairs. She said, yes, life is crazy. She said, is this it? It's literally an elevator. <laughs> Try it out. There we go. All all right, well, now she's checking. Wait, did y'all hear that? Wait a minute, the door just rang. Hold on, give me a second. I'm just gonna say, hold on one second. Let me go get the door real quick. Who is at the door, man? I really... <gasps> No, 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 no. My ex-wife's at the door and she's she's crying. She said, Zach, is that you? I'm just gonna go outside. I don't want her to come inside right now. I'm just gonna say, oh, hey, what are you doing here? She said, is that you? Yeah, this is me, obviously. What? what what's so... Actually, when I, when 
when I met her, I was completely poor. I said, is this really your house? It's gonna say, yes, I have been working my butt off. I mean, I have been working so, so, so hard. I heard some gossip that you are rich now. I'm just gonna say, I'm wealthy now. I'm not just rich, I'm wealthy now. I don't even know where she heard that. It's not like I care. She's the one that left me for somebody random. She said, wow, Zach, I think I made a big mistake. She said, I wanna get back together. I'm just gonna say, I'm so sorry, but no lol. You threw me down in the dirt when I was poor. And now that I'm wealthy, you want to be with me? I mean, guys, this is the perfect example. Said, I was seeing this guy from the bank and I left him so we could be together. Is she talking about my, my boss? So please, Zach, we are meant for each other. You know what, guys? I don't even care if she dated my boss because in the end, he didn't know. He gave me a job. He changed my life. Please, Zach, we're meant for each other. Please leave and never come back for real. Like, actually, just never come back. Said, what about our son? I'll give you child money each month. You know, that's all I'm gonna do. But that's it. You decided to be so rude. Fine, I never want to see you again. Well, I do I do love the kid, obviously, guys. But her? Not, not even a chance. You may be rich, but you're still ugly. Wealthy. Correction. I'm wealthy. Yeah, leave. Woohoo! I'm wealthy! Going from poor to rich to wealth, there's me, and I have one cent to my name, and there's my wife, and well, she's about to leave. Honey, honey, I'm home, and I'm in my bad home right now. It's pretty messy in here, and oh gosh, there's the baby, there's our kid. Honey, I'm back with the diapers, don't worry. <sighs> she said, finally. Yeah, I, I, I know, I'm sorry. I, I've just been out all day. I've been trying to find a new job. I mean, it's tough out here. She said, well, did you get a job or what? Well, the, the truth is... No, nobody wants to hire me. I've been trying so hard. The truth is I really don't have any skills and useless. No, no, honey, please. It's fine. She said I have to tell you something. I am leaving. What? No, please. We have such a good life together and our kid, we're only just now starting to, to raise him. And said I found someone who could take care of me. You found somebody else and my child. No, our child, please. No, who is this? Oh my gosh, goodbye, poke. And then the guy said, is that the loser? You know what? Well, everybody, I have one penny to my name. I have to pay my mortgage pretty soon or I'm gonna get evicted. But I know one thing for sure. I'm broke right now and one day I won't be. And I'm gonna get revenge and I'm gonna prove to my ex-wife that I am wealthy. Wait, so I, I can't get the job? And he just said, sorry, you can't work here. You literally have no skill. Please leave. I need this. I need this job. If I don't get this job, how am I gonna... What's even the point? I don't have a kid anymore. My wife's gone. What's the point of all of this? Maybe my wife was actually completely right. What if I'm just a loser? I better just start heading home. This is just getting so bad. Wait, this guy right next to me just said, I, I need my lawn cut. That reminds me, I have a lawnmower at my house. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. I could go right up to him. He just fired someone. He seems kind of important. Seems like he's got some money. Uh, let me just go up to him. Uh, uh, hey, sir, I could cut your lawn for $50. He's saying, really? I mean, hey, guys, this could be huge. I mean, this could be my first way of making money. I could turn this into something good. I could start cutting lawns. Do you know how to cut lawns well? Oh, uh, of course I know how to cut lawns well. I never was able to hire someone to do it. So I know how to do it amazingly. See, that's the great thing of building your own skills. And he just said, okay, I'll give you a chance. Wow, wow. guys, look at him. He's dripped out in this awesome clothing. His hair's nice. He said, let's go. $50, here I come. Okay, all right. Few more lines of the lawn and there we go. Completed. Perfectly done. All right, I'm gonna have to let him know. Yo, all good. Can't believe I'm about to make 50 bucks. This is gonna be amazing. He said, let's see how you did. I mean, look at this. I think I did really dang well. I mean, I cut the crap out of his lawn, if that's what you can say. Oh, wait, why does he look so shocked? No, 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 sir, 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 did, sir, did I mess up? He just said, oh, are you serious? No, 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 no. He said, this is, it's probably bad. It's I'm a failure. The absolute. Dude, it's, I'm literally a failure, bro. Like, oh, what does it even matter, man? Best lawn cut ever. Wait, what? The best? Wait, really? I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn, but it's pretty dang good. Said I've never seen it so even. I mean, yeah, I'd like to say that I did pretty good about it. Now he's saying, you know what? What, sir? What's going on? I think I know someone who could use some great service. Any business is good business. It's the mayor of Brookhaven. Ugh. The, the mayor of Brookhaven? He said he's very busy, so he doesn't have time to do it. Yeah, yeah, clearly. He's 
he's wealthy. I would love to cut his lawn. Oh my goodness. If I could cut the mayor's lawn. So let me call him. Oh my gosh. This could be the start of everything. Going from broke poke all the way up to wealthy. So here you go, poke. Great job. So come back next week. Uh, of course. Of course. I... I have $50. Let's go. I cannot believe it. Sun's going down, so I better get home. All righty. Wait, I have some sort of paper right here. Eviction notice? No, no, no. This can't be happening. I have 30 days to get out of my house. Oh, gosh. Why, do I, why does this always happen to me? Something good happens, and then something ha bad happens right after. I mean, what's the point of any of this? The good thing is I'm meeting up with the mayor tomorrow to cut his lawn. It's going to get some shut eye. And... Maybe I can let him know about my situation. Okay, I can't believe it, but it's literally the Brookhaven mayor. It's so nice to meet you. I said, hey there. All right, I'm just going to get started. I'm just going to let him know. Okay, I'll get started on the lawn. Are you ready to work? Of course I'm ready to work. Wonderful. <sighs> oh my gosh. Finally done. All right, just going to let him know that I'm done with the lawn. All done, sir. It took so long to do that. Wonderful. Wow, you know, I'm just even so grateful I'm talking to you. I'm just gonna say, it's so crazy I'm talking to you. I mean, like, this guy is wealthy. This guy is amazing at what he does. He just knows so much about all this stuff, and it's just so interesting. I want to learn all about that. Here you go. I added an extra tip. Oh, how much is this? Oh my gosh. It's gonna be $500. 500 for mowing your lawn? Oh my gosh. I can't even type right. This is insane, bro. He said, haha, that's right. He said, I reward hard workers. Thank you so much. That's all I want to be, a hard worker. It's been such a tough week. No lie. You know, I could use some help around my office. No way. Is the mayor offering me something right now? He said, and your work ethic is really good. He thinks I'm good at work. He thinks I'm a hard worker. Uh, uh th th thank you so much. I would love that. Any position, anything. You can start in the morning. Meet me at my office. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness. Th thank you, mayor. Thank you. My life just might have changed forever. This is amazing. I can't be Wait. The, what the? My wife and her new boyfriend? No! They can't believe they're seeing me like this. Actually, you know what? It doesn't even matter. They're calling me, hey, broke, instead of poke. They're calling me brokey pokey. Well, funny enough, I have to work at the mayor's tomorrow. Man, they don't even care. Let's just go. Oh, gosh. It's been a full month of me working at this place. I'm getting evicted from my house today, but it's all good because I should be able to afford a motel just day by day at least. And I should be clocking out any minute now. I've been cleaning up so well. I'm just going to go talk to the mayor and let him know. We've been actually becoming kind of good friends too, not going to lie. Like, yo, Roger. See, I've been calling him by his name now. He's going to say, I'm all done for the day. 30 days of work complete. I said, ah, oh, good, good. <laughs> now then, Poke, today is your first payday. I'm so excited. So here you go. And there's my first paycheck ever. And let's take a look. How much is this gonna... Oh my goodness. If I'm getting overpaid or he loves me. $4,000 for being a janitor? This guy's just throwing money away. Sir, I think I'm overpaid. All I have to do is mop floors and etc. That's crazy. Now, most janitors would only make half that. That's what I'm saying, right, guys? Just, just doesn't make sense. But you have an amazing work ethic. And you are learning very fast. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I did increase the brocade water supply by 30% by simply just changing a few pipelines around. I mean, I, I just learned fast, I guess. That was a big move. It saved us millions. Well, whenever you need more of my advice, I do more than just mopping around. All right, I gotta go, buddy. I gotta go get my motel for the night. I'll see you later. Oh, la, la, da, 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 da. oh. hi there. Can you help me? Oh, uh, uh, of course. Who the heck is this? I'm looking to pay my parking ticket. Ah, uh, yes. You're gonna go in the room on the left, right over that way. Right over on the room to the left for payments. Oh, wow. She's Really cute. I wonder if I'll see her around. Ah, uh, good morning, Brookhaven. What a beautiful day. I'm in my motel, and honestly, I've been falling in love with this place. It's so much easier to keep up. I'm renting it. It's not too big of a deal, and I have about $12,000 in my bank. I wouldn't consider myself rich, but I'm so grateful. And my boss actually just called me in, and he says he has something important to tell me, so I better start walking over to the mayor's office and figure out what he's just on about. Ah, made it to the mayor's office. I wonder what my boss has to say. What's up, Raj? How you doing? doing? Hi, Poke. Oh, I love this guy. We're becoming such good friends. What's up, boss? What's the news? I mean, there was some good news and some bad news, so I'm a little bit confused. 
confused. Yes, Polk, the good news is I'm so proud of all your hard work. You will be getting promoted. Oh my goodness. Guys, I'm going to get promoted. This is insane. My life's about to change forever. This is the beginning of me becoming rich. He said, and the, and the bad news. I forgot about that bad news. <coughs> Wait, boss, Roger. Oh my goodness. No, my boss. Oh my gosh. Someone call an ambulance. Oh my gosh, Roger. This happened all so sudden. This was coming. No, oh, Roger. I, I didn't know. Why didn't you tell me? But it's okay. The town will have a new mayor. You. Wait, what? I'm the new mayor? <laughs> you know so much. You will be the best mayor this town has seen. No. No mayor, Roger. Oh, he was such a good person. I'm so sorry he's gone. I appreciate all you have done. Wait a minute. Why does she look so familiar? Hi there. Can you help me? Oh, uh, uh, of course. Who the heck is this? I'm looking to pay my parking ticket. Ah, uh, yes. You're going to go in the room on the left, right over that way. You're the lady who had to pay her ticket. Yes, you work in the town hall. I remember you. Well, my name is Polk. I'm the new mayor. So come over whenever. You know, she's really cute, guys. Honestly, like, it's kind of crazy. I'm seeing her twice. Like, that's not a coincidence. It might be meant to be. Oh, I'd love to. Congrats on being the new mayor. Thank you. I have a lot to learn. Ah. Another day working at the mayor's office. I have actually been doing so much good work, and it's all for Roger, honestly. All from the old mayor. <sighs> wow, I think I might be closing out pretty soon here. And oh, there's my assistant, Ricky. How are you doing, bro? Ricky reminds me of me when I used to talk to the mayor. I mean, wow, it's all just full circle. Sir, this is the best month we've had in Brookhaven in a long time. Oh, wow, really? I'm doing a better job than Roger? I mean, he always told me I'd be up to great things, so that's super motivating to here. And here's your check from the government. Oh, wow. It's my first actual check. Hmm. I wonder how much this is even gonna... Oh, $100,000! I got $100,000? Uh, appreciate you, Ricky. You have a great day. Holy heck, guys. I'm worth over $100,000 now. And oh, there she is. There's my girlfriend, Janet. Said, hi, you ready to go to dinner? Of course, honey. You know, ever since... Poor Roger's been gone. She's been coming to visit the town hall every single day, and we just made it official a few days ago. Let's go. Wow, everybody. I feel like I haven't checked in with y'all in a minute, but it's been about six months. I've been making so much money every month. I was able to get this amazing house, and I think I'm about to propose to my girlfriend soon. And she just said you were doing such a good job with Brookhaven. The city has never been better. I know. Crime rates are down 50%. Minimum wage is up. We're doing amazing. And she just said soon you could be the president of Roblox. Whoa, 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 Janet. <laughs> don't toot my horn. I don't even know if I'm able to do something like that. That sounds like a lot. I'm just doing what I have to do. You can do it. I'm so happy we found each other. Me too. Maybe she's right. Maybe I can run for president one day. Ah, time to get more work done. I think this might have been the best year yet we've had. The last six months on top of this has been crazy. I think I'm finally ready to propose my wife soon. But Ricky's about to come in with the good news. There it is. I knew it was coming. He said, sir, sir, I have great news. Oh, wow. I thought it was going to be good news. We've been named the number one town in all of Roblox. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? We're the number one? And the government has given you a bonus. Oh, a, a, a bonus? Huh. <laughs> Wonder how much this could be for. $20 million! Just, just for being the number one town in Roblox? Sir, this town has been thriving. The government wants to know everything you've been doing. Well, I have a lot of secrets on how I'm making this town thrive, but I might have to save that for when I run for president, Ricky. I totally agree. I'll be back, Ricky. I've got to go propose to my girlfriend. Oh my goodness, honey, honey, we've made it. We've done it. We are the number one town in Roblox. I was just given 20 million. All thanks to your hard work. You know, I'm actually nervous to bring up money to my girlfriend. You know how my last girlfriend was, guys. She said, that's amazing for you. You know, guys, my last girlfriend would have been begging me to split that with her and all these other things. She just doesn't care about that stuff. I was gonna say, you're nothing like my last girl. You have been nothing but nice. That's how I know you're the one. Will you marry me? She's crying. And she said, are you serious? I'm more than serious. She said, poke yes. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. That's a thousand times yes. Now, if you don't mind me, I need to think of a plan to become the 
president of Roblox. Of course, I will always support you. All right, guys, it's time to get to work. And it seems you've gotten the results in for the presidential election of the new Roblox president. And congratulations to Poke for being the brand new president of Roblox. Congratulations to him. Oh my gosh. Oh, my, oh I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. I'm the new president of Roblox. Oh my gosh, congrats, honey. I can't believe this. This is amazing. I'm officially well... Who's at the door and- Oh my goodness, it can't be! I found someone who can take care of me. You found somebody else? And my child. No, our child! Please! Uh, uh, don't worry, honey. I, I got this. You, you go go away for a second. You know, I wouldn't be answering if it wasn't to see my amazing kid. Hey, Poke. What do you want, honestly? You left me because I was poor. Well, guess what? I became rich, then I became wealthy, and I'm the president now. So what? I can't afford our son anymore. You have to take him. Bobby, he left me. Oh my gosh, she's talking about her old boyfriend. You know, the one that you left me for when I was at my lowest? It's okay, Sonny. I would be so... So excited for you to come join me and my brand new wife come on in sorry but you messed up i'm wealthy now and you left me when i was at my lowest please take me back i'll take you back all right and when i say take you back i mean take this door and shut it get out of my life oh sonny you have so much to learn dad are you wealthy sonny i wasn't wealthy until you walked into this door let's have dinner Ladies and gentlemen, I am finally getting home with the groceries. Oh, I've had to work this horrible job, and it's all for my beautiful wife, Abby. There she is. Hi, Abby. I'm just going to type to her right now. Hi. What the crap? She just typed out cheats. She's cheating on me. Guys, my wife is literally cheating on me right in front of me. Abby, I'm right here. It's like she doesn't even see me. Uh, hello, you're cheating on me right in front of me. And she just said, oh... Hi. Oh my gosh, I feel so betrayed right now. Abby, are are you cheating on me? Be honest. I'm gonna even just bring up be honest because guys, honesty is the best policy and she may even lie to... Oh, no, she's not lying. She said, yup. She's even nodding that she's cheating on me. Oh gosh, dang it. What the heck? But why? Guys, there has to be some reason behind this. I mean, this motel isn't that half bad, right? It's got enough room. It's got a nice bed, a TV. And she said, because you're broke. I'm not that broke. I'm just working a few things out. Guys, okay. I, I, guys, you may see my check mark up there. Yeah, like whatever. I used to be this big famous YouTuber and then uh, I might have broke every bone in my body and couldn't upload, okay? But whatever. And she said, I can't stay with a brokey pokey. I'm gonna get this business back, I promise. Please, like, you don't have to leave me. And she's saying, sorry, not sorry. I want someone who can make billions. I don't even make millions. And she's saying, that isn't you. Honey, I, I just can't. This is, this is horrifying. The one true love that I have is cheating on me and is gonna leave me. She's like, I'm gonna go date Elon Musk. Bye-bye. You're not gonna date Elon. He's too busy running Twitter. I can't believe it, guys. My wife just left me because I don't make billions. You know what? I may not make millions. I may not make billions, but you know what? I'm gonna one day make zillions. That's right. This whole world is gonna be mine. Let's go. I hit a million dollars in my new business. Hey, we did it. One million. Cheers. Let's go, guys. I'm with this girl right here. And she, uh, guys, she's been helping me out. I mean, nothing crazy, but I'm worth a million now. And I'm getting that much closer to my billion dollar goal and then my zillion dollar goal. And wait, and she just said, so marry me. Um... Who are you? Guys, I just met this girl maybe a few months ago. She's crazy. Honestly, I don't even remember. Oh, wait, who the heck is here? Oh, what the heck? Who's that? And she just said, ew. Guys, I don't know what the heck she's ewing at. It's just like a guy at my door. Okay, yeah, he might have a little bit of some like rough clothing, but man, I've been in a very similar situation. You know, you can leave, honestly. Get the heck out of here. I, I don't know who you're even ewing. Yeah, go. Get out of here. Bye. Go. Go. You know, bye. Guys, let's talk to this guy, though. This is crazy. And he just said, excuse me, sir. I'm sorry to bother you, but my wife just left me. Now I have nothing. Could you maybe spare some food? Oh, my gosh. His name is Chase, y'all. I feel 
so bad. Oh, I almost closed the door on him. Crap. Let me lock it. Bro, yeah. Oh my gosh. Come on in, bro. I'm gonna say, bro, come on in. You're good. He said, please, any help. Oh, I feel terrible. Okay, let's get him in here. It is getting dark. You know, so I'm just gonna bring up right now. Your wife left you. Dude, my wife left me, bro. Gosh, finally, someone can actually feel me out on that one. She really just dipped me out for not making billions. And Chase just said, yes, it's awful. Oh, I actually feel so terrible. Let me go get him some food from the kitchen right now. Let me go run over here. Let's get the fridge out. Okay, I just have ice cream and waffles. I'm actually severely unhealthy. I need to work on my diet. Um, okay, I got pizza. Okay, let me give him some pizza, bro. That should be good. Yeah, pizza I I'm taking a bite out of. Ew. Okay, yeah, here you go, bro. There you go, bro. And he just said she took everything from me all because I didn't make millions. Oh my gosh, me and this guy have literally the same exact story. So you're just like me. Your wife left you for money. He said, what, really? And now I'm proving to her I can be a billionaire. No, wait, zillionaire. Oh, guys, his face just lit up like a Christmas tree. He said, you know what? You and I share a lot in common. I want to become a zillionaire. I may need another drink after that one. What the? So we're both trying to be zillionaires. Oh my gosh, guys. He can help me. Uh, you know, I have my business right now. And if I can hire this guy to help me out, he's got the same mindset, the same goals as me. We could become zillionaires together. Both proved our ex-wives together. I was going to say, you're hired. You start working for me tomorrow. He said, woohoo, let's get to work on being a zillionaire. But first, we need to be a billionaire. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been here with Chase and we are celebrating his fifth million dollar revenue stream. Congrats, bro. I'm so proud. When I brought this guy in to help me with the dealership, I did not expect it to be as good as he'd be. But this guy's on top of it. I said, thanks, man. I couldn't do without you. You know, guys, we are millionaires, but but unfortunately, if I still look outside, I can't even see it. But Elon Musk's rocket, I mean, man, my wife is in love with him. It's just not fair. But what are the odds that she actually dates a billionaire? Unless it's me. All right, let me just tidy up a few things over here. Let me get these papers to be filed. Okay, I can't even write on them. Never mind. And wait, and Chase just said, whoa, whoa, poke. Yo, uh, wait, what, what's good, bro? What's good? He said, rich person incoming. <gasps> Guys, these are the best. We can always sell the rich people on the car and they get us the big boost. Holy crap, guys. Who the heck is this? Her name is Claire, and it says literally Claire slash rich. She's so rich, she had to throw it in her name. All right, I'm gonna go up to her. I'm just gonna talk to her. I'm just gonna say, hello. Nice to meet you. Are you looking to buy or sell a car? Guys, I mean, like, look at She's got the Gucci on. She's got this nice pink dress. Honestly, she's pretty cute, bro. Give her the W Riz. No, I'm never saying that again. That was cringy. Anyways, she just said, I want to buy a car, please. Okay, sounds good good what are you thinking and we have this car right here for sale but if you're looking for anything else i can go in the back and she just said are you for sale he he oh she did it just get hot in here Whew, i cannot believe that y'all she just be flirting me like that wait and chase just said poke come here a minute guys chase is trying to talk to me you know i gotta hear my boy out he's obviously pulling me away from a girl he's kind of being a little bit of a you know a, a girl blocker and chase just said poke this is it this girl is our ticket to getting super rich wait what what, what do you mean do you know her? Guys, he's looking at this girl like he follows her on Instagram. And wait, and he just said, yeah, duh, I know her. Hey, yo, what? He said, that's Claire Rover. Claire Rover. That literally sounds like made up. <laughs> literally, what the heck is Claire Rover? Wait, Claire Rover, like, oh, like owner of... Range Rover said she's super rich, like billions rich. Said you have to make her fall for you. Bro, guys, I don't know how I feel about that man because he is, he said, I smell our first billion. Oh, I do know how I feel about that though. That sounds nice. Okay, okay, I'll I'll think about it. Y'all, I, I would never get a, with a girl just for her money, obviously. Like I said, like, I would hate for a girl to be with me for my money. Like, you know, how my wife left me. But you know what? I'm gonna talk to her. She's, she's flirting me with, why not? Why, why not? I'm gonna say, okay, so I am for sale for a date. Where do you want to go? I literally sound like a robot typing this, bro. Where do you want to go on our date? Like, literally, bro, kill me, man. Jeez. And she said, ooh. And she just said, my billionaire mansion fine? Uh, bill, 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 billion. Yes, of course. Guys, Chase is literally cheering. He's literally freaking out, bro. He he hears this. All right, I'm gonna play cool. Yeah, billion mansion. We can go have a date at your billion mansion. And she said, Monday, see you then. No. I'll see you then. Wait, no, that, that was dumb. I mean, oh gosh, guys. L, L, bro, L, Riz. She said, bye, Pokey. Well, that was crazy. And Chase said, dude, we're gonna be billionaires. Well, first off, if I married her, I'd be the billionaire and you wouldn't. But yeah, we're gonna be billionaires. Like we've always said. <gasps> Woohoo!
Wow, guys, this is amazing. I am at Claire's house right now, the very rich girl that walked into the dealership. We're on our date, and guys, look at this is her boat. We're on this crazy house on the beach with a waterfall next to it, bro. She owns all of this. She owns this whole mountain. She owns this cabin and everything. Oh, she did have something really important to ask me, so I'm just gonna bring it up. I'm just gonna say, so what's going on? And she said, huh, yeah, this is just one of my many resorts. Guys, I won't lie. She does brag a lot, but I mean, hey, when you're a billionaire, it's like, what? What? You're not gonna brag about anything? Like, uh, accidentally? It's like an accidental brag. And Claire just said, I don't want to go so fast, but... Oh, but what? We're not going fast at all. Not at all. What's up? Do you want to get married? <laughs> Uh, what? Um, y'all? She just asked me. A billionaire just asked me to marry her. Um, okay, okay, okay. Wait, I, I have to, I have to process this. I have to think about this. I'm say, you want to marry me? I mean, she just said I even have the priest ready. Wait, what in the? What in the? <coughs> what? And she, she just said, all right, I hear you two are ready. What? No, this can't be real. And Abby just said he's one of my relatives. Oh, good to know you have a priest on standby. Wait, what do you have? Like a priest on speed dial? All right, y'all. Maybe I should just get married and be a billionaire already. I can't believe this. I'm getting married to a billionaire. I'm gonna be a billionaire. I do. She said I do. Guys, I am officially a billionaire and I thought I would go give a lot of money to my friend Chase because I think both of us do not deserve to work at this dealership anymore. I'm gonna let him know the news. Wait, why is he so mad? He's poke. Wait, not, wait, wait, what, what's up, bro? Guys, I, I don't understand. I, I came here to give him a huge loan. I mean, I'm worth like $40 billion now. I mean, at this point, guys, I'm closer to being a zillionaire than ever. And Chase said, dude, you were gone forever. No, I know. I got married, bro. I am now a billionaire. And I have something. Wait. He's so mad. He just said, you what? Guys, maybe I just shouldn't be giving him anything. He's getting so salty right now. He said, bro. He said, are you kidding me? But you told me to go for it. You're, he's the one that literally said to become a billionaire. Get married. Take the advantage. And it's not my fault that I fell in love with her. I like her. He said, dude, I was trying to be a good friend. Chase said, you're going to regret getting with her. I'm going to ruin you one day. What? But you were my, you were my best friend. He said, I'm going to beat you to one zillion. Was not expecting a friendship breakup in this one, huh? Just driving home in my amazing, like, NASCAR car that costed, like, I don't know, like, five, ten million. Ugh. And then there's my other car right there. And, oh, there's my other car. And, oh, gosh, guys. Oh, and we are at my lake house. Just gonna go up to my wife. Guys, it has been an amazing few years since I've checked up with y'all. I'm a trillion here. And me and my wife, Claire, have never been literally happy... What the crap is going on here? Chase? And he just said, hi, Poke. Looking a bit rough there, bud. Claire just said, Pokey, it's not what it looks like. It's swear. I swear. Uh, yeah, it does. You're being a gross woman. You're cheating on me with my old friend Chase. Chase, it's it's been years. And Chase said, Claire and I were, ha ha, you know. Ugh, you guys are absolutely disgusting. Without me even knowing. Yeah, he just said, behind my back, you're gross, both of you. Chase, especially, I mean... Chase, what happened? You look good now. Chase said, well, after our falling out, I started selling rare paintings. This guy really thinks he's gonna do something selling paintings, bro. Oh, really? Anybody buy them? He said, I'm up to 5 billion. Lol, I'm at 4 trillion, okay? I'm at 4 trillion. Wait, he just said, oh, wait. He said, did I say billion? Ha, ha, ha. No, don't say it. Don't say it. No. I mean trillion. Oh my gosh. And she even got closer when he said that. Man, she's a gold digger that's rich. It's like, what are you gonna be? And she said, Chase said he was gonna be the first zillionaire. And she just said, you only wanted to be a trillionaire. I wanted to be a zillionaire, but then I met you, Claire, and realized you're all I need. Claire said, sorry, not sorry. Lame. Chase said, you should just get out of our house. Wait, our? No, no, no. Don't tell me. He said, we just got married. You used the priest on speed dial, didn't you? No. He said, yup. I guess I gotta get the heck out of this house, bro. I am for real broke now. At least I have my three cars. I, I just don't know which one to take. I'm taking the one-seater because everyone is so rude. I don't need anyone in my life. Everyone screws me over. Seems like I'm back in the same position, y'all. I am here all alone just clueless. I got cheated on in the beginning for being poor, and then I go and make money, and then I made a friend, and then I get cheated on again, and then that friend was the- Oh, this is so much. Bottom line is I'm broke, but honestly, at least it's beautiful. It's actually so beautiful. I'm gonna take a photo of this. Wow. 
Oh my gosh, that just gave me the best idea in the world. Well, the art exhibit has just opened up. I've spent the last week taking photos all around Brookhaven, taking photos of amazing people, and I think I'm ready to sell these for, well, <laughs> zillions. I've even been told about a few rich, rich, rich customers incoming. So, yep, and there they are walking up. Oh my gosh, there they are. Diamond Dan and Ruby, look how bougie they are. Holy crap. Diamond Dan just said, hello. Hello, nice to meet you. This is my gallery. Feel free to walk around. Just gonna let them walk around the gallery, you know, get the vibes out. Just let them feel it out, guys, even if they wanna buy one. You know, I've thought about it, right? I would love to be anything more than a trillionaire. I'm nothing right now, but the one thing I really did learn at the end of this was... Oh, don't get too close to that. Oh, no, be careful. Whew. I just have a lot of effort and, you know, delicacy into these. But they are loving them. They just said, these are so beautiful. And Diamond Dan said, all of them. And Ruby said, all of them are masterpieces. And Diamond Dan said, I'll, I'll take it. And he just pointed at me. Ah, oh, which one? Which one would you like, sir? Would you like this one? This one? And Ruby just said, you. Wait. Wait, me? They want to buy me? Diamond Dan said, you will paint exclusively for us. We want to buy your talent for... Zillions! Oh my god, zillions! I'm gonna be a zillionaire! I'll take it. Any art you want is yours. I'm gonna be a zillionaire! Ladies and gentlemen, we are just taking my private helicopter that I learned helicopter lessons in helicopter school that I took with my zillion dollars to my zillionaire mansion with all this money literally pouring out of my crib. I'm just gonna land my my rich helicopter on my zillionaire mansion. I'm just gonna Geronimo whoo, into the pool that... Oh my gosh, I literally have money all over the pool. It's all wet. Eh, I don't give a crap. Guys, you know that game like the floor is lava? What if I was the money is lava? Oh, gotta drop it. Watch out. Oh, God, watch out. Oh, watch out. Touch it, you die. Touch it, you die. <laughs> Oh, what the heck? Who was at my house? Okay, wait, hold on. Gotta avoid it. <laughs> and whoop, one more. Oh, sorry. And who the... Oh. Chase? Abby? My ex and my ex's ex's friend? Wait a minute. You guys know these two. This is my first girlfriend. And this is my friend that I helped get rich. And I don't know. He uh, cheated on my wife with him. And Abby said, how's it going? Well, I, I might as well just show them. I'm a zillionaire now. Come look at my cars. Here, let me show them my cars, actually. <laughs> While well, I got them here. Say hello to my garage. Oh, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think there's like 10 or 11 back there. And they're saying, oh, wow. It's going to say, so, um... What do you guys want? And Chase just said, I'm so sorry, Poke, for everything. And Abby's saying, we're really sorry, Poke. Abby, you left me when I wasn't a millionaire. And she just said, yeah, Elon Musk is a lot busier than I thought. You can't believe you really thought. Wait, hold on. I got a phone call. Give me a sec. Yes. Th thank you for congratulating me on another 10 billion. Th thank you. Oh, another another 10 billion again? Oh, okay. Bye-bye. Sorry, I'd answer that. And Chase just said, and I'm sorry I messed things up with you and Claire. I was just jealous. <sighs> she was bad, but both of you betrayed me. Both of you right here. For that, I will find the true one for me. And I'll see you guys later. I got zillions to make. Mom, dad, please. You don't need to do this. Ladies and gentlemen, they're kicking me out of my house right now. Well, it's their house, but I'm 18 and my dad said it's time to be your own man. But dad, please, I, I could get a job. I, I, could, I could do so much. Please, I... I can't go out on the streets. My mom just said, you need to live on your own. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess this is it. I guess I have to leave. I can't believe it. I just got kicked out. This guy just said, ha, I'm so rich. And he's driving around in his sick supercar. That must be the life. I've realized I'm going to do whatever I can to be as rich as that guy. No, no. In fact, I'm going to be the richest ever in Roblox Brookhaven. Let's get to work. Oh, gosh. What am I going to do? I mean, I'm just so broke out here. And gosh that might be my sign no no that's literally actually a sign it says now hiring okay, i'm gonna walk in and go speak to the manager or something hi there i see you are hiring and he said yes are you interested i would be so interested and you know i was gonna bring up right now that i'm like homeless and all this stuff but i'm just gonna fake it till i make it and i'm not gonna say anything like that i'm just gonna pretend that i'm out here already doing good things I said do you know how to make coffee um of course do you like coffee of course i used to drink Oh, so many Keurig cups at my mom's house, but 
kicked out. I got kicked out. Well, perfect. You're hired. Oh my gosh. Th this is amazing. What? When? When can I start, sir? I, I I would love to get started as soon as possible. You know, I really really need this money. He said you could start today. Okay, amazing. Oh my gosh. I guess I'm hired. Time to get behind the counter and start working. You will need a uniform first. It'll be twenty dollars for the uniform. Oh crud. Um. Yes, of course. Let me check my bag and okay, all I have is twenty five dollars in here. At least I had a little allowance change from doing the chores. Here you go, sir. Here's twenty dollars right here. I'm gonna throw it at him. All right. There we go. I'm officially hired at Starbucks Coffee. Let's get to work. Oh, jeez. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's another day started. I've been sleeping outside of Starbucks, and I've been really not trying to let anybody know what's been going down. I just have to go in and just pretend that I just came to work. All right, let me turn on the lights, get started with the day. Usually, I'm the first one in here, and the customers will start rolling in any second now. So, let me just start prepping up some of these muffins and these cookies and... Oh, man, I really want one of those so bad. Look how good that looks. And there's my boss. I'm just gonna say, hey, my boss said early again. I'm proud of you. Yeah, he doesn't really realize that I have the closest ride, if you know what I mean. Like, I'm literally right outside. So I don't know how you get here so quick. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just come really, really early. Like, as in, like, I'm just you know, two feet out the door in a sleeping bag. He said, well, awesome. And me and this guy are going to get to work. Let the customers roll in. Hello, welcome to Starbucks. Oh my gosh. I think this actually might be a regular. I've been seeing her every day this week. Nice to see you again. And oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. You have a great one. Thank you so much. All right. Let's put this money back into the register like though. Okay, perfect. Oh, and I've never seen this guy before. I said, hello, sir. Hi there. Welcome to Starbucks. What, 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 what can I get you? This guy looks really, really awesome. Look at that suit. I would like one coffee, please. Of course, coming right up. All right, chef this thing up. You know what we got to do. And perfect. There you go, sir. So, wow, you're really quick. Just trying to work hard. Become the richest ever, you know? Hopefully, he likes that coffee. And I put a lot of love, in, love, love into that one. He's saying, wow. Oh, he really likes it. But here's some cash for this. Okay, let me take a look and see. And I should be getting five and i got whoa, 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 whoa. He, he gave me a hundred a hundred dollars uh, uh sir sir uh here's the rest and wait a minute he said keep the change wait a minute no 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 i don't think you realize how much this will help me this will actually change everything he said that's nothing i wish that was nothing to me a hundred dollars and he said if you want to see some real money being made stop by my bank when your shift ends wait wait wait, wait. oh oh uh, uh. Uh, stop by my bank? You own Brookhaven Bank? Uh, okay, uh, of course. I'll stop by. This could be huge opportunities. I don't even know what this guy saw in me. Well, I just started my shift. I got another at least eight hours here. So let's get to work. And my boss just said, all right, Pope, great job. See you tomorrow. Thank you, sir. And the light is off. And you know what? I'm gonna have to follow him out because I am gonna be taking a pit stop to the bank to meet that guy. Let's take a look. And um bank is empty oh my gosh was he trolling me this must have been some sort of troll at this point i mean he was probably just messing with me i'm just this guy that makes coffee like what what do i know about making money he literally asked me if i wanted to make some real money and to be honest he's just trying to joke around i bet but maybe something happened maybe he's caught in traffic maybe he's really rich and, and people move slower in rich time i mean you know what i'm just gonna sit outside the bank and i'm just gonna wait and i'm just gonna wait oh and i'm, I'm just gonna wait <sighs> What the? Oh, oh, what the? He said, you did it. What, 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 what time is it? Where am I? Who am I? He said, haha, I was testing you for making me wait for six hours. Was it even six? Was it longer? Seeing if you were really worthy of working with me. I, 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 I really, I really appreciate it. But I, I got this coffee. I got this coffee job. And I, 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 I don't know if this, if he's going to keep messing with me like this, then this might be harder than I thought. He said, oh, no, no, no. You won't be needing that job. I will teach you everything. I know. Well, absolutely great. I can't believe this. I have a job at the bank. So I take the checks, add the interest, okay, learn the finances, and boom. How did I do on my test? Did I do good? He said, you're a quick learner. You really know what you're doing. So I got the job? He said, I'm one of the many owners of this bank. Of course you got the job. No way! I work at the bank! This is insane. The amount of people I'm gonna meet, the amount of knowledge I'm gonna learn, the amount of money I'm gonna make, but you know, this is only gonna help my goal to being the richest ever and i'm gonna prove to my parents that i'm not just some lazy bum who got kicked out keep getting the finances going and boom 
Another entry sent. This is insane. My boss has been telling me I've been doing great for a minute now. I can't believe I'm coming up on a year working here. This is just absolutely beautiful. The people I meet in here, the experiences I have, the amount of knowledge I've learned. You know, I'm making pretty decent money too. I have a nice little apartment going and everything. Oh, and it seems we have another limo coming up. You know what happens when the limos come in? You meet some people that are cashing million dollar checks. Hi there. He said hi there as well. How can I help you today? He said he'd like to put this into his personal account. Okay, let me take that check. Let me go and deposit it. First, I have to read it and make sure it's legit. Okay, Mr. Bezos, order of... <laughs> 500 million dollars is something crazy no, nothing crazy of, of course sir of course all right let me cash this check for you there you go i have to be really chill with it says there a problem with the check no 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 it, it it went it went through just wondering though what do you do oh <laughs> oh have you ever heard of a little company called amazon little he said well i started that wow amazon i've heard so many great things he said i'm jeff well I'm Poke. N nice to meet you. How do you like working at the bank? Uh, you know, it's it's great, but I want to be the richest ever. How can I do that? Haha, <laughs> well, you're gonna have to beat me. Like, beat you up? Oh, I think he means, like, beat him in this company competition. Okay. He said, you just need to come up with an idea that'll change the world. Be an entrepreneur. If you guys don't know what that means. It means pretty much just be a business owner. Create your own business. He said, you could do it if you believe. Gotta go. Bye, Mr. Bezos. I can't believe I just... That's like meeting Midas, bro. Touched gold. I better get back to my own apartment because maybe he's right maybe i could start my own company and really become the richest ever I'm just trying to think of an amazing idea for a company what could i be doing out here that could change the world you know i just sometimes wish there was a place you could just look up anything you know look up ideas look up a food recipe look up oh my gosh Oh my gosh, what if what if there was something that you can look up anything in the world? Whoa, 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 whoa. I think that's my idea. Imagine you can look up a type of TV. Imagine you can look up a certain amount of, um, type of microwave. Imagine you can look up uh, this type of chair. Imagine you can look up this entire city. Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I discovered my idea. Oh gosh, I got a bad booger. Wait, booger mixed with oogle is boogle. That's the name of my company, Boogle. I have to get started on this as soon as possible. As soon as possible. I could really be thinking about the idea now. It could be this amazing logo with a nice search bar, and you could literally look up anything. It means you can look up what type of bank you want to go to on, on Boogle. This could be huge and run. This guy said, sir, I've been asking you for 10 minutes to put this check in my account. Hello? Oh, no, no, so sorry, sir. Oh, no. He's going to get my boss. Oh, no, no, no. I can't risk getting fired right now. I need money for this idea. Oh, crap. There's Mike. Mike just said, what is going on here, Poke? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry, boss. I've had this amazing idea, like unreal. And I just think it could change my life. What is your idea? Imagine you could look up anything. I'm calling it Boogle, like boogling anything. Cars, locations, questions. This could be huge. Like you said, yeah, yeah, that won't work ever, like ever. Get back to work. Is he really think so? Is my idea that bad? Maybe I should just give up on it, honestly. Maybe I should just, uh, sir, what do you need, honestly? Because at this point, that idea is just nothing. I mean, he's saying, sir, no, that idea is genius. Really? You like it? He said, that's the best idea I've ever heard. That idea is going to change the world. Instant access to anything online. Exactly. You get it. You understand the vision. Any answer you could ever need. What do you say? Would you help me? He said, I would love to invest in your company. Let's do it. I can't believe this. Hey, Mike, you know, I thought you believed in me to do great things, but I guess not. I Wit. Deposit this for me, Mike. No way. He's talking to my boss like that. My ex-boss, to be honest. Get out of here. I need a team in an office. Yes, we do. What's your name? He said, I'm Larry. I'm Poke. Can't wait to be successful with you. Not just successful. We're going to be the richest people in Brookhaven. Keep the algorithm up for the search bar, Lefro. Man, what a name Lefro is. And there's my boy, Larry, right there. Hey, Larry, how's it going? Gosh, we're time crunching so hard right now. And Larry just said, I Poke, I think we are almost there. Things are coming along amazingly. Perfect. So we should be ready in about six months. Man, these last six months have been so, so crazy. You know, I kind of wonder how much my parents are doing but you know i i just need to prove it to them once i get there he said you want to see the prototype yes have a seat of course let me check this thing out and gosh this is amazing wow let's try this out okay let me look up animal farts and search play the first one oh, this is incredible wow wait let me look up brook haven there's our city. It's working. I said the UI still needs some work, but it's coming along. Yeah, the UI always takes the longest, you know? We got this, though. I can't believe this, but in, in 10 seconds, it's all going to be worth it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. 
There it is! Boogle is officially live on every single computer. It has been worked out. We have so far 1 million searches that you can just look up any, at least 1 million different things and people can add things. People can do it. It's, an, it's a community data thing, okay? And my investor just said, you did it, Poke. I'm just gonna say, no, no, we did it. All of us in here, we all did it. We all deserve this moment right now. Wait, hold, hold on. My phone, my phone's ringing off. Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. It's my old, my old best friend. Yo, Johnson. Yo, dude. I heard about the new company. Congrats. I think we should go get some lunch or something. Uh, bro, where were you when I, uh, was on the street and I was homeless for a bit? Oh, I, I was, you know, busy. I, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, talk to you later. Oh my gosh. That was just, wait, another one. Wait, hold on. Oh. Hello? Yo, remember that $100 you owed me? Think it could be $100 million now? Who even is this? It's me, your old friend. Or where I was your best friend's second best friend, you know? So, yeah, you remember? No, I, I don't. Gosh, who the heck are all these people? How much has the company made so far? And he just said, sir, I think you're going to want to see this. And she just said, sir, the news is calling. Every everything's going crazy at once. And wait a minute, he's pulling out the laptop and... <laughs> Son of a muffin! The company is going absolutely crazy right now! Uh, just call the news back for me, and I'll do an interview with them. I have two people I have to call right now, though. Hello? Mom? Dad? You, you, you know what's going on? We're so proud! We're so proud of you! Well, guess what? I'm gonna call the helicopter, because we're gonna move in all into my brand new mansion. Mom? Dad? Welcome into my brand new mansion. I mean, take a look at this thing. It's three stories! It's huge! Huge! And it's all ours. You will never have to work a day ever again. And my dad and mom are saying it's amazing. And they're saying, I'm so very proud of you, Poke. I appreciate it so much. We gave you the push you needed. And look at you now. Yes, I know y'all were hard on me. And I didn't get it. But now I do. I totally get it now. Oh, I just heard a car pull up. And oh my gosh, is that who I think it is? Mr. Bezos! Great to see you. You said, Mr. Polk. Well, I told you that you were gonna have to beat me. Well, I guess I did. You really are the richest ever. I, I did it. I, I'm the richest ever. Woohoo! 